Hello everyone, my name is Supreet and I am a senior software developer at MathWorks. In this video, I will talk about how to build a point cloud map from LiDAR data. I will also talk about how you can localize a vehicle or an object in the map you built. For example, if you have driven a car around a few blocks in a city with the LiDAR mounted on it, in this video, you will learn how you can use simultaneous localization and mapping technique to build a map from the collected LiDAR data. Such a map is useful to represent the environment and can be used for autonomous navigation. You will also learn how you can estimate the location and orientation of a vehicle in the map you built. You will see how features in Computer Vision Toolbox LiDAR toolbox and automated driving toolbox can be leveraged to achieve this. So let's dive right into it and see how you can build a map from LiDAR data. A typical workflow for building a map from LiDAR data using SLAM starts with preparing your data. You can use different techniques like downsampling, denoising, ground removal to process your point cloud data. This kind of processing is important to achieve better accuracy and performance. The next step is to register two point clouds to estimate the relative motion between them. We have many methods for registration such as ICP, NDT, phase correlation and feature based methods. The output of the registration process is a post estimate, which is a composition of translation and rotation estimates. The pose estimates are then added to a pose graph. The step of registration is done iteratively on successive point cloud frames to build this pose graph. Once you have the relative poses, you can then align the point clouds to build a point cloud map. But if you closely observe the pose graph, you will notice that using only the registration for localization can lead to a drift. In order to overcome this, we need to use a technique called loop closure detection. It is a technique where you can recognize previously visited locations and add this information to the pose graph. Subsequently, the pose graph is optimized to correct the drift. This algorithm of LiDAR SLAM shown here is popularly known as graph SLAM. Until release 21A, you could use this te technique to build a point cloud map and store it in a point cloud object. In 21A, you can store it in a memory efficient NDT map representation. With this representation, you can also localize in the built map. Now how do you do localization? Localization is a process where given a point cloud and a point cloud map, you estimate the pose of the vehicle or the object. You can also take the aid of other sensors like IMU or GPS to improve the accuracy of pose estimation. You saw how you can build a point cloud map using graph slam technique and localize a vehicle in this map. If you want to learn more about this, please look at these examples in our documentation. The graph slam technique introduced previously has some shortcomings. It might not be robust in large-scale environments and the presence of dynamic obstacles might make detecting loop closures challenging. For such scenarios, we have a new technique in 21A release called SegMatch, a place recognition algorithm based on segment matching. In this technique, after the pre-processing and registration, point clouds are segmented and eigen features are extracted from these segments and are added to a global map of features and segments. In order to detect any loops, features are matched and geometrically verified. If any loop closure is detected, then the pose graph is optimized and the segment matching map corrected. This iterative process where you can build the map as you get the LiDAR data is known as online mapping. Now, what if you do not have a LiDAR sensor or a vehicle to collect the data? In such a scenario, you can use the Unreal Gaming Engine in Automated Driving Toolbox to create synthetic data to build and test your algorithms. We have many examples that show this capability. In these examples, we show how you can configure scene, vehicles and sensors to gather data using Simulink blocks from Automated Driving Toolbox. 
Once you have collected the data, you can use the Grassland technique discussed previously to build a point cloud map. An example also shows how you can build an occupancy map. A question you might have is whether the shown techniques only work for automated driving or ground vehicles. The answer is no. They work for other kinds of vehicles such as aerial vehicles. To demonstrate this, we have an example in LiDAR toolbox to show how you can build a map from LiDAR data from a vehicle such as an UAV. In this video, you have seen different tools in MATLAB to build a map from LiDAR data and localize a vehicle in this built map. If you want to learn more about this, you can visit Point Cloud Slam overview page in our documentation. Also, you can check out our demos in our documentation page. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video.